What's happening everyone, my name is Alex and welcome back to a new review. For today I have one of the most beautiful phones I've ever used. This is the latest device from LG called the V30. Now there are a lot of gorgeous devices out there like the S8, the S8 Plus, Note 8 and so on. However, I believe that this one looks and feels much better. First of all, we have a 6 inch display, this is also a Quad HD POLED display and even though we have such a large screen, the phone is quite small and also lighter than the competition and it just feels awesome to hold. Aside from that, we have the latest specs just like the competition, so we have the Snapdragon 835, we have 4 gigs of RAM and the device is running Android 7.1. On top of that, we have IP68 certification and that means that you can put the phone in the water and nothing will happen and we even have a 3.5mm audio jack. On top of having that 3.5mm audio jack, the phone is using a specialized hi-fi DAC and it just sounds gorgeous and probably better than all the other phones available on the market. So if you love listening to music, you won't be disappointed with this phone. I know that 4 gigs of RAM doesn't sound like a lot these days, mostly now when most phones actually come with 6 gigs of RAM. However, I've done a lot of multitasking and the phone doesn't seem to slow down, it doesn't seem to close the apps running in the background. So I believe that 4 gigs of RAM is good enough to have a great experience. So taking a closer look at the phone, so first of all we have a metallic frame and we have Gorilla Glass 5 on the front and on the back, so if you're gonna drop the phone something is gonna break for sure. The cameras on the back are also covered by Gorilla Glass 4 and that means that they're not gonna get scratched um, that easily. And we also have the fingerprint scanner on the back there and the fingerprint scanner is also the on-off button. The fingerprint scanner is placed in the right spot, so whenever you pick up the phone your finger just goes on that fingerprint scanner very naturally, unlike what we've seen from Samsung. And the fingerprint scanner is also very very fast and probably one of the fastest that I've seen. Now, even though the phone comes packed with pretty much everything that one could ask for, so we have wireless charging, we have fast charging, we also have the always-on display, and on top of that even expandable storage. There is something that we are missing, and that is a notification light, so the phone does not have a notification light, and that's just strange because this is a very expensive phone. And that brings me to something else I don't exactly like about this phone and that is the front facing camera. So on the front of the device we have a 5 megapixel front facing camera and you have to wonder why. I mean the quality from this front facing camera it's not that great and the competition does a much better job for front facing cameras. So of course if you have plenty of light the pictures kind of turn out okay but as soon as you don't have enough light yeah, the pictures don't look good at all. And with that we are moving to the back of the device and there we have two cameras. The main camera is a 16 megapixel sensor with optical image stabilization and f1.6. The second camera is an ultra wide 13 megapixel sensor with no optical image stabilization and f1.9. The phone is also using laser autofocus and that's great in most situations. However, if you actually take pictures of close-up subjects and the subject is somewhat shiny, you're gonna see that laser dot in your picture and it just doesn't look that great. The implementation of that ultra wide angle lens is quite interesting, however not quite perfect. So the ultra wide sensor doesn't have optical image stabilization, we also have a lower resolution when compared to the main um, shooter on this device and we also have a smaller aperture and that means that it's not gonna do as good in low light conditions. However, you don't have that problem if you have plenty of light. As for that main 16 megapixel camera, well I feel that it doesn't do as good as the competition in low light. So of course the pictures do look good but I feel that they are a bit darker than they should be and I've seen better pictures from a whole bunch of other devices, even cheaper devices in low light. And maybe I'm a bit too picky but that's what I feel, I feel that the pictures taken in low light with this device should look much much better. As for the pictures that you're gonna take in daytime, they look absolutely great no matter what lens you're using and I don't really have any complaints about those. Leaving the pictures aside, the phone does much better for video recordings. So first of all we have a mode called Cine Video and that gives you the ability to color grade directly on the phone and that's not something that we've seen for any other phone before. Of course there is also a manual video mode and that's the one that I actually prefer. I've also done a quick um, video in the manual mode and you can actually check that one out and I'm gonna leave a link in the video's description or the top right corner of this video. Another thing I love about this phone is the great battery life, so I believe that the battery life on this phone is actually better than on my Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. So we have a 3300mAh battery inside this phone and you're gonna be able to make it through an entire day and get about 6-8 to eight hours of screen on time which is great for any device. However, if you actually use the cameras a lot you're gonna see a big decrease in battery life because the cameras do use a lot of power. 
Now, the phone's UI. Well, I just feel that the UI is behind the competition. I mean, don't get me wrong, the phone is extremely fluid and fast and it doesn't slow down at all, but the UI just doesn't look that great in my opinion, and we've seen the same thing for previous LG devices. After using the phone for only 10 minutes with the LG's UI, I had to install Nova Launcher. With Nova Launcher installed, it feels like the software actually matches the beauty of the phone because I can say the same about the LG's UI. So definitely install Nova Launcher on this device and you're gonna be much, much happier. And it's time to conclude this video. So this is definitely the best phone that LG has ever made. I mean, the phone is absolutely gorgeous and probably one of the most beautiful phones for 2017, even though the screen doesn't match the screens that you're gonna see on um, other Samsung devices like the Note 8 or the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus, it does look very, very good as it is. We get great battery life, we get great sound from that 3.5mm um, audio jack. Unfortunately, I can't say the same about the speaker at the bottom of the device. The speaker doesn't sound uh, that amazing. I mean, it gets loud, but it's just one tiny speaker, so you can't really do that much. But overall, this is a very, very good phone with great cameras, mostly for video recording. Alright guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did like it, press that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.